The fish tank guy store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is my store mascot, my African lungfish, which is almost three feet long now, his new home. He used to be in the window tank. Now I moved him to this 120 gallon tank right here. I'm feeding them hot dogs this morning. And look, goldfish eating hot dogs too. First time I'm giving them hot dogs. I just fed hot dogs to my turtles. And there you go. My lungfish pretty much eats everything I give them. Meat wise, I never give them vegetables. But um, just a little hilarious for me to see the goldfish nibbling on the hot dogs. So to speak, so they say, um, you know, pretty much fish eat almost anything, so. But yep, this is the new happy home, 120 gallon tank, filtered by a Fluvo FX5. Filter is good for up to a 400 gallon fish tank. You can see how crystal clear is maintained in this water. African lungfish pretty much has a tank all to himself. Couple feeder goldfish, which became his tank mates. And two common Florida plecos, one right there, and I think there's one uh, not there now. Oh, there he goes. You can see his tail right down there. So yeah, some changes this week at the fish tank guy store. African lungfish came out of my window tank because now in my window tank, oh, a little hazy this morning, but now has my African cichlids in my window tank. It's a 155 gallon bowl front, also filtered by a Fluval FX6. Filter is good for up to a 400 gallon fish tank. My Fontosa right there, my Beicher, Beecher, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, everybody pronounces it differently. My Striped Raphael Catfish, my two Pictus Spotted Catfish, that's my Ghost Knife, Black Ghost Knife right under that driftwood, this giant piece of Malaysian driftwood. Here go my adopted jewel cichlid big synodonis catfish right there in the driftwood african lace catfish feather duster catfish however way you want to call it here go another adoption this black cichlid with all the white specks all the white spots all over it My rhino pleco right down there under the driftwood. African leaf fish, also another adoption. My living stony, changing colors like he wants to mate. Dragon blood. Yellowtail Asi, also another adoption about a month ago. My smaller. African leaf fish, oblique, African cichlid. So I'm trying to keep this tank only with all male African cichlid peacocks and haps. Um, I think there's two females in here now. I'm not 100% sure on both of them, but when I am, they will be coming out. I want to keep it all male. As I say, when you keep it all male African cichlid, it lowers their aggression a lot more. So, so work in progress here. It's my window tank. Gets a lot of Google Gaga eyes when everybody walking by and looking inside and seeing all these colorful, pretty fish. The new changes here at the Fish Tank Guys store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here go another change. My room divider tank. I took out all my African cichlids. All the males are in the window. 
all the females are in another tank. And what I did with this tank, my room divider tank, is all babies on an African cichlid peacock and an African cichlid. I'm sorry, it'll come to me in a second. Um, Oh goodness, I got brain fart. I'll think about it in a second. The the father of these fish. These are these are born August 15th, 2019. There's about 45 of them in here now. And I have another batch, another batch that was born September 15th. And right now I'm growing them out and hopefully in a couple weeks they'll be in here as well. And my intentions with this tank is to have it filled with about 80, 100 or so African cichlid peacocks and dragon bloods because that's the father. Here go the father right here, that dragon blood. And here go the mom right here, that peacock. So some of them, some of those babies that come out looking like mom and some of them will come out looking like pop, the dragon blood. And this is my this is my my newest batch of babies. These were born September fifteenth. I haven't counted them yet, but I'm eh, guesstimating about 30, 40 in that vicinity. Growing them out now. They're getting fed a few times a day. And like I said, hopefully in about two, three weeks when I think they're big enough to keep up with their stepbrothers and stepsisters over here then they'll be coming inside here and that'll be pretty close to about 80 and i'm super excited to see what this tank is going to look like in about a year's time with all these fish growing out all the same color and that's all that i plan to put inside this tank besides a few more catfishes but other than that um, i'm just going to keep a strictly African cichlid peacock and dragon bloods. And when they get bigger, you can imagine how many dragon bloods might be in here. And just imagining how awesome this tank is going to look in a few months. And of course, not for sale. This is one of my personal tanks, so the fish won't be for sale either. Um, they're inside my personal tank. Now, when I decide, if I decide somewhere down the road, couple years a few months I want to switch it up again then they can become for sale but in the interim not for sale I want to enjoy them so yes these are the latest changes here at the fish tank guy store in Philadelphia Pennsylvania make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell alert to see interest interesting videos like this when I post of interesting stuff happening interesting fish related stuff happening here at the fish tank guy store in philadelphia this this 20 gallon hexagon tank has is for sale 200 bucks for everything just the way you see it less the fish but it has become my adopted community fish uh this beta i adopted uh, a few weeks ago and i got a bunch of split tail guppies in here and some regular feeder guppies that were adopted back in April and there's just added in here a few um, Danios I think they're long thing Danios well yep this has become my adopted community pump fish tank um, you know if I sell the tank uh, depending who buys it they can get the fish for few dollars more or I'll just move the fish into another tank I mean if they want to have community fish then here you go and if not then people always ask me you know what can you put with a beta what can you put with a beta? I've done betas with a lot of different stuff over the years always you know community fish I've done betas with goldfish I've done betas with guppies with neons um, with angel fish I didn't I don't, I don't think it did well with angel fish but um but I've done, you know, betas over the years with a lot of different stuff. And I always tell people, you know, what I, what I experienced, from my experience, well, you know, what you could put them with and so on. So, anyways, moving on along. 
this tank right here this is my dominant male dragon blood he's made me a lot of babies last year and still going and then these are all females inside here um, hoping he'll breed with somebody in here um, I don't know I don't know if he will cross breed with this Malawi eye biter I don't know um, I don't know if he will cross breed with a, a, a Mori dolphin head there is um, an Alamo Cara back there and a smaller dragon blood back right there um, that's actually his daughter she was born here February 5th last year so it'll be neat to see if two dragon bloods breed mate what the babies will look like and so on would it be all dragon bloods babies would it be half dragon blood and half peacock like like mom over here I don't know that'll be interesting to, to find out but this is mom right here taking a break from breeding, taking a break from everybody, getting fed. She just had babies two weeks ago. And, um, you know, just living a life, so to speak. Chilling. Tank by herself, pretty much. Great filtration going on. Getting fed really well. She looks happy. Swimming, active. That's Mama Dukes right there. My pride and joy, room divider, fish tank. That's what I call it. Some people call it a peninsula fish tank. Other people call it a horseshoe crab, horseshoe, yeah, horseshoe fish tank because of the shape, of course, but. So you can see all the cool, exciting things all the cool new exciting things happening here at the fish tank guy store in philadelphia pennsylvania make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that bell alert any questions you know comment you know i've been in the hobby 16 plus years um you know i've been in the business of buying and selling used tanks now for 10 years and you know i've learned a lot i've learned a lot about obscure fish tank sizes and i've learned a lot fishes filters you know any any questions you have, I mean, feel free to comment, ask me. If I can be of any help, I'll, you know, I'll try to help out or at least point you in the right direction of who can help you with that and so on. So, again, thanks for watching the Fish Tank Guide Store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.